What, What is up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome to Candle Play. Good hearts and godsends, it's your godson B.A. Pinky once again and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here, we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. For those who are new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel if you find it helpful and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. Today, I will create the second text effect in our Canva Play typography series, which is called Heal Text Effect in Canva. To quote, graphic design is about telling visual stories, and typography tells a story by spilling out actual words and evoking feelings with its aesthetics. When used properly, typography can be one of the most powerful tools A graphic designers have in their toolkits. So let's start to learn the peel text effect by showing you the sample that we will create. I am now in a blank Canva design editor. In this design, I will change my background color to black so you can see the text clearly. For the beginners, you can type a word or a text in Canva by two ways. One, type a text by typing the letter T as a shortcut key and automatically a paragraph text will appear and rewrite it with the words you want to type. I will type, for example, peeled, P-E-E-L-E-D. And then I will change my font and since Anton is my brand font, I will not change it anymore. Two, go to text and click text to add to page. Choose this add heading and retype the word and type the word field. And then change your font to Anton, for example. That's the way how to text how to type a text in Canva. Now, I will delete the second one and use the first one as my text. This text is recolorable, so I will change its color to light brown. After typing the word, I will duplicate the page with the type word field in it. And then I will recolor the duplicate word into my brand color. Recoloring is optional. You can change the color or remain the color as it is. And then I will download this text as PNG with transparent background. Don't forget to check the transparent background box. And then upload back to Canva. I will delete now this duplicate page. And go back to my original design. And drag here the uploaded PNG. Position it forward to bring it to the front of the original text. Then align them perfectly. I will... Uh, Wrap it a little upward at the bottom side and a little downward on the top side to prevent it to be set as background when the image occupies the whole page. Now, duplicate the page twice and then I will set them aside for later use. On the first page, I will now create the effect on this text. 
using the text image in front i will go to edit image scroll down and find bad pb option and click see all you can manipulate the text image by using the bad pb effect actually there is no specific option from bad pb options to use you can use them all except the fast option you can also you can use all the options under it because it will give you the same output using the settings i will give you in doing these designs like in this example i'm going to choose from the options below the warp and change the settings to pick distort six find distort zero roll speed 2.5 2.5 and the scan lines make it all zero after applying the effects take a look what happened to the text it tilted a little to the right and since it was lifted upward when I applied the effect I will align it again with the original text like this now look at the field text i created during the filling part is in the top portion of the text now i want to make the field of png image to make a 3d look so i will apply shadows i will go to edit image find shadows choose drop and change the settings to Position, top left. And offset 1. And retain the other settings as is. And look how the image became more obvious. That is my example one for field text effect. You can manipulate the other bad TV options and you can create more peeling off look. Like if you want to make the peeling off effect on the middle part of the letter and the topmost is still attached to its original text, you can use other text settings like this. So I will go to the next page. And then as I did in my first peel off example, I will apply another bad TV effect to this font PNG image. I will go again to edit image, find bad TV. This time I will use the tube option and change its settings to take distort 4.2, find distort 0, rule speed 3, and then I will make the scan lines all to 0. Again, I will inline it to the original text. Like what I did in my example one, I will make this fill of text have a 3D look. So like what I did in my first example, I will apply shadows again. I will go to edit image, go to shadows, choose drop, and change the settings to position bottom right and offset one and retain the other settings as is. And look how the image became more obvious. Look at the field text I created. You will notice that the peeling part is applied now at the middle of the text, and the topmost part is still attached to the original text. That is my example too for field text effect. For the last example, I want to make the peeling of effect in full, and only the bottom part of the text is attached to the original text. 
You can also do that by using again the bad TV effect options. So I will go to the last of the duplicate page I created a while ago. And as I did in my two fill up examples, I will apply another bad TV effect to this front PNG image. I will go again to edit image, find bad TV. And this time I will use the rerun option and change its settings to click distort 6, find distort 0, roll speed 0, and make the settings in the scan, scan lines make it all 0. Again, I will make this fill of text to have a 3D look. So I will do the same process in my two previous examples and I will apply shadows again. I will go to edit image, go to shadows, choose drop, and change the settings to position, left, offset, 3. And retain the other settings as is. And then I will align it to the original text. Look at the field text. I created, you will notice that the peeling part is applied now in full and only the bottom part of the text is attached to the original text. And that is my example 3 for fill text effect. After creating the three examples of fill text effect, I will do my final touch in doing this design. I will change the background to a leafy back black background and I will get the photo from uploads I didn't get it from kind of photo library so I can't give you the exact keyword for this I downloaded it from the other photo application sites and uploaded it to Canva I will uh, going to set this image as my background And then I will set the same photos background with the other two examples I made. After that, since I will uh, select, I will go back to the first page and then I will select all the text images i will group them and then i will change its size After changing its size, I will tilt it a little counterclockwise for 12 degrees. I will do the same procedure with the other two examples I make. After that, since I use a golden leafy background, I want to insert some leafy golden leaves into the text effect images I created. So I will go to the photos and search leaf. And various leaves feature will appear. I want the transparent background ones. So what will I do? I will filter the choices to cut out only apply filters then various cut out sleeve photos will appear 
I will choose one or two, insert it with my design to look more beautiful. For my first design, I will use this leaf. I inserted it between the images like this and I will do the same with my other two designs I will use other leaf photos from the choices and do the same process I will not show you the keywords for this uh, leaves because it has the same keywords leaf I will going to insert another one on my third sample I want this red one Maybe you're wondering how I inserted the leaf between the two text images. What I did is I ungroup them and then I send the leaf to back. Now I finished with my designs and I will show you again the quick samples I made using field text effects. My sample one, my sample two, and my sample three. That's it. For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky, your Godson BA, saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Simon, Goodheart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!